Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Monday, October the 24th. Man, it's hard to believe. Next Monday, this time, next Monday will be Halloween. Ooh, I see them out there roaming around their tractors. Out sloshing in the mud. Started raining last night and just never stopped. Although it's just a very, very light drizzle out here now. Little bistro table. Oh, the fall look is here. <laughs> Days are getting shorter. But it's very nice though at the same time. It's very soothing. Gotta enjoy all the all the different weathers. Alright. <laughs> Trying to get the camera not to focus on the raindrops. Mama, it is definitely back to good old Pacific Northwest. Oh, yeah. Poured down rain the whole Nasty, way. Cold and wet. Yuck. Just a dumper. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Mama? Yes, I hope. I think uh, it's Monday has come back around. It has. It oh, somebody's picking up a spider in this mess. That's not oh, fun. That's not gonna be fun. Yeah. But uh, anyway, being Monday, I mm -hmm. hope you have a good one. You too. And uh, I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. I'll be up directly to, uh, as always, build a <laughs> pot of coffee. I know it. <laughs> All right. Good day. Love you. See you. you bye. Too, sweetie. Love you. I told you guys yesterday, or I guess it's Friday, but the spider's ganging up on me. Look, there's even more. This one, there was a whole lot more stuff about it. 2013 ST. But uh, anyway, there was way more on the um, schedule than what was written on the RO, so I was going to go up stairs and take some photogs of what that was so i did a bunch of testing with this this morning and um yeah i'm getting some bizarre stuff uh, i i could literally run the vlog empty just describing the weird the weird things but anyway i'm i got my notes i'm gonna reply back to brp with things that i found it's very bizarre. What's weird is, you know, the CAN bus, you got high and low. Well, I'm just not going to get high because that would just be a forever conversation. I mean, unless you work on these things, half of it wouldn't make any sense anyway. But uh, there's another new um, a Deep Marsala. Is that a Chrome? No, that's a, that's a Black Edition there. This one... The one's been down here. I got a little spot. I was going to take it up there Friday. The battery's bad. Brand new battery. This one needs an alignment and uh, sent upstairs. I don't know when my kid, I don't know what days. I think he just kind of comes in when he has off time at his other JOB. But yeah. So this one, I need to find out because there's the codes that are on there are old and a lot of them are related to low battery but there's something about it being hard to start or it won't start when it's hot there's no codes that are acting like any that would suggest anything um like i say it was just low battery stuff got a whole bunch of um shift codes but that's uh, it's the codes that pop up when they let the oil get too low and the uh, HCM oil pump stars for oil. Classic. Oddly enough, the original owner of this thing back in 2015. Um, man, I was still at the yeah at the at the date of that thing. I was still at the Longview store. Um, I did something to it because it's got my VCI number on there. Did a service to it. This is what's really scary, man. Ooh. We find that on these every once in a while. Man, I don't even know if even in an Well, on one of these, if you have an emergency and you're that low on oil, she stopped shifting, so <laughs> you got to do something. Man, just use the BRP oil. Man, I just, the list goes, I could literally write a dictionary on the different things I've seen from not using the BRP oil. It's not a joke. Just use the BRP oil. And the odd thing is, is some of the synthetic stuff is a lot cheaper or a lot more expensive than the BRP stuff. It's not that bad. 
I'm here to tell you, without question, this is the Spider and BMW area. What do you <laughs> What do you think? Police bikes, sport bikes, dead battery, brand new bike. You know, and the funny thing is, is I think I remember when I was doing the alignment on this thing, it acted up and did something weird. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen the uh, the main, the engine oil filter. They always have, oh, I've already thrown it away. They always have the uh, black uh, O-rings on there. It had a red one this time. I don't know if that's just a change or, or what. This is your hydraulic control module. There's electronic um, servos that that tell it go, that make it physically shift um, up or down. And as you'll see, coming out of this hydraulic or HCM hydraulic control module, it's shifting the transmission just like a manual bike. I think I've shown you guys that before. If this was a manual, which there was never never an st that was was a manual the sts were always where did they have one the first no i don't think there's ever a manual st i know they had the ones with the foot pegs that was the st standards i think not to be confused with the sts if it's an ft <laughs> st standard it just simply says st but yeah that's all that stuff rolled around Right about right in here somewhere is where that oil pump for the hydraulic control module is. And uh, it scavenges from a different place. That's why when you get low on oil, it starts, um, start, <laughs> it's trying to shift, but it, it can't shift. There's no hydraulics to, uh, I mean, these are just opening valves to say go up or down. Then from there, it's hydraulically controlled. Yeah, buddy, like I say, don't be messing around with that oil. <laughs> That'd be the font side. Here we are for us English speaking people. So I walked past this thing before I rolled it in. I go, what is hanging out the back of that thing? I don't think I have ever seen somebody take their BRP trailer hitch apart. One on some of them, you can't, yeah. You can't even get the, can't even get the bolts out. Because the nuts are on the outside. <laughs> I just, I don't know. But it has a brake light switch thing. And man, the switches in these things is buried in here. They got these um, uh, plates that kind of protect them from debris and whatnot. And these, there's these little micro switches. Have you ever seen the little micro switch that you can eat up on the park break um yeah this looks like the same switch but if you watch the tail light i'll here i'll just okay it's doing it right now okay so here you'll hear the click okay that's the brake on well i just let go of the lever well needless to say that'll cause some serious battery problems but if i just touch down one more time listen you'll hear it click now it's off. Well, without replacing that switch, are you gonna remember to do your braking? See, it didn't, still stuck on again. So that switch is hanging. So, I think I'll pull these covers off and see if I can blast down in there. Sometimes I've seen debris, even though it's got guards on there to keep that from there. Oh man, it almost does it every time. But a light little touch down and it's releasing. On, off. There was a deal for a little rubber stopper because the uh, stopper was too thick and it was actually where it stops. It was still the, the brake. It hadn't actuated or released the uh, the park brake switch. So... <laughs> Lures, this this rubber plug that goes in there and you take a razor blade and you you cut off, I forget what it was, a couple millimeters or something off of it. What do we got going on here? Oh, that's an interesting, interesting way to put the trailer hitch wires. Hmm. 
I don't even remember how those things hooked up on these, to be honest with you. And I think the hitch was only for the limited. I don't know. I, you know, I don't even remember. It's been so long to put a trailer hitch on. Maybe they did come out the back, but usually they're on the left side. I don't know. I've slept a lot since then. A whole lot. But she's got fresh oil. I need to uh, open up and ventilate the place here so I can run her. Till the fan cycles twice on these, which does, <laughs> these things run a whole lot hotter than the third. These take 42 minutes before the, the fan cycles the first time. But the radiators, you have two radiators that are literally, I think, bigger than the one radiator you have here. And this is why people complain they... They ran, they, well, they thought they were running hot. It's just blowing heat at you. So this is all ducting in here, and it shoom, guides it out. And the idea is for it to go around you, and for the most part it does, but if you get caught in traffic and wind is blowing this way, <laughs> the air doesn't escape, it blows on you. It'd be quite hot. They never learn. Curb scoopers. Which, <laughs> that's where I did that. ST Limited that these may, just may, not be the worst ones to do that to. Well, the one thing, when they get crammed back, when you hit something, as they do, it'll just blow up the uh, the lower part of your fairing, but it doesn't hit the radiator. Not that it really hit the radiator, it kind of bent a frame piece, and it broke a little plastic hose that was in there. Oh, I don't have that all the way out. I was gonna say I can show you on one of these. Poor F3. Gotta get that thing figured out. It's the young, the the young daughter in the family that rides that thing. Can have can have her not having her spider. Although the weather stays like this, I don't think anybody's gonna be missing it too too terribly much. But when there's a nice day, just like Kelly and I did yesterday, you want to get it, get out there and go play. Anyway, I still got an air filter. Oh, yeah, I do got to take them covers off. That air filter is flat buried in the... Oh, man. STs are the worst. I don't think there's anything about an ST that isn't worse than any other spider as far as tune-up stuff. They're, they're uh, yeah, the least friendly. Anyway, these are those... Well, I guess that kind of looks... Kind of looks like the 1330. No. Nope, oh, Sorry. All the RSs, most of the newer RSs were made by the time they came RSs and the old RTs used them flat square ones. This is a BMW one that I just about bet you is probably the same same thing, but it's one of those, the flat square ones. It's probably the same filter. That's a brand new one. Remember we did that crash repair job and they gave me a new, uh, a whole new air, the air box that was damaged in that crate damage. It, um... The, the new airbox came with the filter and everything. So the other stuff just getting tossed. So I took the, the little cage, the bolts, the lid, and the air filter. I'm going to pay that forward to somebody one of these days. It always works out that way. Somebody's in a pinch and need an air filter. I'm going to hook somebody up, make somebody happy. That looks kind of cool. An ST right in the middle of its surface. <laughs> there may even be a thumbnail that looks like that somewhere. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was going to come in and say something else. And I, I walked around and I lost what I was going to say. My mom used to tell a little Irish woman there. I go, well, I don't remember, Mama. I was going to say something. She goes, well, it must have been a lie. I go, what? That's what they say. If you can't remember what you're about to say, you're going to tell me a lie anyway. I go, Mama? <laughs> My mama would tear me up if you told her a lie. Woo! My parents did not mess around with that stuff. <laughs> well, look at that. Sunset is at 5.09 here in Van Chulo. It's going to get cloudy because it's rainy. I don't know what the weather is in Toledo. But, uh... Yeah, it could be dark when we get home. And if we have to stop anywhere for anything, it will be dark. <laughs> it's beautiful right now, though. 
what is it, 52 degrees? That's nice. We have seven minutes before sunset. Being hidden by the mountains and the clouds. But that is very beautiful out there. That old clock, it runs fast. Now it's like 10 minutes fast. <laughs> I'm looking at that thing all the way to work and coming back and keep thinking, this, this already passed sunset. Nope. Just the clock in the auto is fast. A non Honda item, I might add. What is that thing? A Kenwood, yeah. Well, hello there, YouTube. This is kind of pushing it. We're about 11 or 12 minutes after sunset, or maybe even more. But uh, no lights, it's just natural. Yeah, it's the last glimpse of the day. Yeah. It's still cold. I don't know. I didn't even pay attention what the temperature was coming home. It's cold. Don't have all that fancy stuff in the, in the old war wagon. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look at trying to sort tires today, but it's just too busy. Not, not enough time. Nope. Well, it seems weird to say not enough time in a day this time of year, but... You always go through that little end of the season, little season, little rush thing. Boy, are we in it right now. Or at least I am anyway. I don't pay attention to what the other guys are doing up there. But anyway, I think on that, we're going to roll out. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday. Thank you. All right. Till then. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>